Are you looking for an easy way to garden without the hassle of weeding? In this video, I will show you how to grow microgreens indoors, perfect for anyone who's over 50 who wants a beautiful garden with minimal physical effort. You'll learn how to have a setup that is low maintenance and get started today with these simple tips. Watch till the end for a free microgreen beginner guide. We're gonna have fun in this video. Have you ever wanted to grow a garden, but found it hard to keep up with the physical weeding and bending over and all those pesky bugs? I know the feeling, and that's why I've got the perfect solution for you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to grow microgreens right at home, and stick around because I'll be sharing a secret tip with you that'll make your microgreen growing even easier, especially if you have achy joints. Hi, I'm Connor with Amelia Island Microgreens, also known as the Phytonutrient King, because my whole life I've had health challenges, and through that I found a way to grow my own health, and I want to teach you how to grow your own health too. I've been through the struggle of creating a garden only to find that the weeding and the physical upkeep was too much for me. And that's why I want to share with you my secret on how I have fresh live food in just seven days without all the maintenance that traditional gardens need. So let's get started. Let's talk about why you'd want to grow microgreens at home in the first place, especially if you're 50 plus. In our next video, we will dive into a step-by-step -step guide on growing microgreens. Unlike traditional gardening, microgreens are incredibly easy to grow. You don't need to worry about weeding, heavy lifting, or spending long hours in the sun. This is a garden you can grow indoors, right on your kitchen counter, or by a sunny window without any backbreaking work. It's as simple as watering a houseplant that you only need to keep alive for a few days. One of the best parts about growing microgreens is how quickly you see results. Unlike traditional gardens that can take months to show any progress, microgreens begin to sprout in as little as three to four days, and you can harvest them in just seven to 10 days. It's a fast, fun, and rewarding process. Whether you're new to gardening or have been growing plants for years, it's exciting to watch your greens grow so quickly. The rapid growth makes it easy to stay motivated and enjoy the experience especially if you love seeing the fruits of your labor without a long wait. These tiny greens pack a huge nutritional punch. They're full of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and adding them to your meals can boost your health. It's like growing your own superfood right at home, giving you a fresh organic boost to your diet with minimal effort. Microgreens don't require expensive equipment or a lot of space. Even if you live in a small apartment or have limited mobility, you can easily grow them. All you need is a few trays, some seeds, and you're good to go. It's an affordable and accessible way to garden. Another great benefit of growing microgreens is that the trays you'll use are extremely lightweight. Unlike traditional gardening, where you might have to lug around heavy pots or bags of soil, microgreens are grown in shallow trays that you can easily lift and move around your home. Whether you want to reposition them to catch more sunlight or clean up your space, these trays won't strain your back or arms. This is especially important for those who prefer to avoid heavy lifting or have limited strength. The ease of handling makes microgreens an even more attractive option for low maintenance, accessible gardening. Whether you're new to gardening or have been doing it for years, microgreens are accessible to everyone. You can enjoy the benefits of growing your own food without the strain and hassle of a full outdoor garden. Plus, it's a great way to stay connected with nature, even if you're indoors. One of the best things about growing microgreens is that there's no bending or kneeling involved. With traditional gardening, you're constantly bending down to tend to your plants, pull weeds, or work the soil. With microgreens, everything happens at table height or wherever you choose to place your trays. This makes it an ideal solution for anyone who experiences joint pain, stiffness, or wants to avoid the physical strain that comes with traditional gardening. This makes microgreens a perfect option for anyone 50 plus who wants to enjoy the benefits of gardening without the physical strain. Remember how I told you in the beginning of this video that I've experienced a lot of the same challenges when I started my garden? Is it okay if I share a little bit more with you about that? Great. So my whole life I've had genetic health challenges and when I was seven 
it got to be to the worst it had ever been where my doctors were thinking I had cancer. They checked MS, Charcot Marie Tooth, just about everything they could think of. And it took me 14 years to get diagnosed. So during that time, I was in such a place where I couldn't even get out the door. Things were getting serious and I needed a change and a change fast. Fortunately, my parents went the holistic medicine route where I really took on that saying of let food be thy medicine. A lot of my other friends went the more traditional Western route of getting loaded up with a lot of drugs. And had I gone that route, I don't know if I would be here today. So during this time, I went on a gut repair diet and I found microgreens. And since microgreens are so nutrient dense, they really became a vital part of my nutrition and of getting healthier. I know they made a huge difference in where I am today. So because I was just in a place where I could barely get off the couch, doing a whole garden would have exhausted me. I had such achy joints that I could feel every single joint in my finger. And so to be able to do something that is so low maintenance and that it's just that size, that's all you have to take care of. You don't have to take care of a big garden bed or worry about weeding. I was able to do something that I didn't think I would be able to do. All I needed to do was pour a cup of water once a day and after that I had my own fresh greens. And they are delicious too because it's so nutrient packed. A lot of our vegetables nowadays has a fraction of the nutrition that our vegetables used to have. So then fast forward to COVID, I'm feeling better and I see that the world is not. That's when I realized I needed to do something. I started by creating a traditional garden. I remember the time of just being out there and I've pulled all these weeds. I look out the window a week later and all those weeds are back. And that's fine if I was able to have the energy, the stamina to keep up with all of that weeding. But after a while, I realized my joints don't have that ability to weed every single day. And I also was not getting that much for how much time and effort I had put into this. I did not get that many vegetables. And that's when I realized that microgreens were so powerful because all I needed to do was put my seeds, put my soil down, missed it for the first three days. Then on the fourth day, I just water underneath the two trays and I have vegetables. I don't have to worry about all the bugs. I live in Florida, there are a lot of bugs. I don't have to worry about weeding, which is so incredible. I don't get the achy joints that I get when I weed. And I get live food in just seven days. A lot of your food out in the garden takes much longer than that. So to be able to just have food instantly, it's just, it's such an incredible feeling, especially in a time like COVID when we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know if we were gonna have food from the food supply because in reality, our food does not come from the store. It comes from the people who grow it and those are the people who supply the food to the store. So if something goes wrong with the people who are growing the food, then we're not gonna get food like we did before. And that really concerned me and we really saw, it. I mean, you remember how things were. It was unsettling and you look at like the toilet paper shortage, at least it was toilet paper. Had it been vegetables or our meat, it, it would have been really bad. And we saw that on and off throughout COVID. And knock on wood, something like that doesn't happen, but we just, we don't know. And that's why I am so passionate about teaching people how to grow their own health through microgreens in just seven days. So stick till the end of the video and we will talk more about how you can start growing your microgreens today. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can see the next microgreen videos. You'll be able to have your microgreen thumb in no time. And stick till the end because that secret tip is almost here and you're not gonna wanna miss it. What microgreens are you excited to grow at home? Let me know in the comments below. I will do a tutorial video that will make it even easier for you to grow your own microgreens right at home. Type the microgreen right into the chat and I will see you there. Remember that secret tip I promised you? It is coming up in just a moment. Okay, so now it is time for the secret tip. Once you have your microgreens grown and you're ready to harvest, here's what you wanna do. 
You want to harvest only the amount that you're going to eat today and then let the microgreens keep growing for another 7 to 14 days because that way when you harvest your microgreens, you're going to get the best nutrition from them. If you were to harvest them all at once, they're going to start degrading. And that means that you're not gonna get as many of the benefits of eating microgreens because they're already harvested. That's one of the things about going to the store and buying microgreens. Almost all of the microgreens in the store are already harvested. So you're not getting the best freshness. So growing your own microgreens is the best way to go. And if you would like to know more, right here is a video on how to harvest your microgreens to receive the best freshness and the most delicious microgreens. So now that you've gotten the basics of growing microgreens indoors, here's one more thing you want to know. It is a common mistake that can ruin people's whole setup. Don't worry, in my next video, I will show you exactly how you can fix this before it happens to you. Want to learn more? Be sure to check out my video series, which is valued at $250. But for you here today, my mission is to empower you to grow your own health. And so I want to gift this to you for free. Simply text microgreens to 26786. That is microgreens to 26786. Or look in the link in the comments below. And this will give you the 10 part series that will take you from microgreen beginner to microgreen grower. Again, it's a $250 gift that I want to give to you completely free because I believe that you are going to do awesome things and I want to see you succeed. So now if you're ready to take your microgreen growing to the next level and fix those problems before they even start, head over to my next video that you should be seeing right here on the screen. And I'll show you exactly what you need to do to keep your microgreens thriving. See you there.